Hey guys and welcome back. This is the Neko Punk synth version 2, which is a cat themed synth powered by an Arduino Nano and a Mozy library. By changing the position of these sliding pods, Mozy can produce much more complex and interesting growls, sweep and coercing sound. These sounds can be quickly and easily constructed with familiar synthesis units like oscillator, delays and filters. You can check out Mozy library from here. Now this was the previous edition that I made and it was based on the original Atari Punk synth which was first made by Forrest Mills in 1980s. It utilizes an A-stable multi-vibrator setup which triggers a mono-stable setup. By combining these two setups, we get a step tone generator. The version 1 was easy to make but I was not pleased with its end result. A year ago, I made a similar synth with Mozy library which works quite nicely. So I thought why not use Mozy library in the version 2 of this Neko Punk synth. I use slider pots in this edition which makes this setup look more cyberpunkish. Version 2 PCB is probably the simplest circuit board that I have ever made. It uses an Arduino Nano as base microcontroller unit. Five slider pots are connected with this Arduino Nano. D9 goes into the input pin of PAM8403 audio amplifier module and the output of PAM8403 is connected with two CON pins that we can add speaker with it. This whole setup required 5 volt to work. To power this setup I have to use this lithium ion boost module that you can find online. These modules are very inexpensive and works pretty well. It boosts the 3.7V of lithium ion cell to constant 5V 1A or 2A for our MCU setup to work. I prepared the PCB in my AuraCAD PCB suit and then added few graphics to increase the aesthetic of the board. I used PCB waste service for this project. I uploaded the Gerber file of this project on PCB waste code page. For this synth board, I choose white solder mask color as I have added quite a few round graphics and custom art on the top side of the board. The black silk screen look awesome with white solder mask color. I received the PCBs in a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. This PCB is huge and I like how the quality of this PCB was not compromised because of the size. PCB way you guys rock. Now this board doesn't have any SMD component so we have to place everything on this board manually and solder them with a soldering iron. I first gather all the materials and then started the assembly process with the slide potentiometer first. I first put all the potentiometers in their place from the top side and then solder their pads from the bottom side of the PCB. After this I added Arduino Nano and PAM8403 module in their place. And the assembly process was pretty much completed. Previously I have added Arduino Nano from the top side but it will be added from the bottom side. So I swap its position and solder the header pins from the bottom side. This is the main sketch of this project which is based on the Mozy library. The code is pretty long but basically it runs on Mozy library which generates algorithmic music without needing for additional shield, message or passing or external synth. This library is pretty well documented so you can check them out from here and download it. Install this library before uploading this sketch. The ports are connected on A0, A1, A2, A3 and A4. And the audio out is D9. Now after uploading the sketch, I added a 4 ohm speaker with CON2 of the PAM8403 module. To power this setup temporarily, I have used this power bank setup to supply 5V 2A to Arduino Nano directly. To modulate the sound, we just have to change the position of all 5 sliding pots and that is pretty much the whole testing process. Next we move on to the final assembly. As for the body of synth, we generally use a box like enclosure which will house the speaker and electronics. 
I had this idea of making a cat face on the front side to make it look more like a box cat. I then added the cat facial things like whiskers, nose, eyes on the front side. I modeled everything in Fusion 360 and then 3D printed each part on my Ender 3. I prepared the main body with orange PLA and pupil, eyebrows, whiskers and nose from black PLA and the eyes from white PLA. The print setting was normal as well. I use a 0.8mm nozzle with a 0.32mm layer height with an infill of 20% and support for the base body. After printing all the parts, I use super glue to attach all the face parts to the base body. Now we start the main assembly. We first add a speaker on the base body with nuts and bolt. Next we add DC jack and rocker switch onto the base body. Then we connect the lithium boost module with DC jack and switch. I then place all the stuff inside the body and then add the main PCB from the bottom side with some M2 screws. And the assembly is completed. To turn on this setup, we have to press this rocker switch first, which turn on the setup. <laughs> and then we can just modulate the sound by using these pots. <laughs> And that is pretty much it. If you like this video, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, special thanks to PCBWay for supporting this project. Check out PCBWay if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. Thanks again and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.